Alright, welcome back to you, Super Hard Dream World 2. I'm Dusseku. Joining me is Out of Sight 877. Then, looks like you're in the ice world now. Are you gonna start there? Yep. This is the, um, hopefully semi final land. Now, I figured out this game's ridiculous jump, so we can finally we finally got a super high jump ability in, um, in hand. And if you notice your de our death counter up there, uh, since World 2, we've died about 55 different times. Yeah, so are you trying to break your usual record? <laughs> no, I'm not. Most of it is bad, is bad game design. That's killed me. Ah, uh, okay. Different. A lot of it was my own death too, yes. Like I said, super high jump. She realizes a lot of this thing get a lot of things in this game. What hits can you take? Oh, well, just one more. Yeah, I got three hearts and I'm down to the final one. I have yet to actually see if the Tanuki suit and statue form does anything. I don't think I ever tried because I don't know if this game is programmed that well to allow that. Usually it just takes hits. Yeah. I suppose. Now, oddly enough, um, the ice mechanics are not that big of a hindrance. Considering what I had to deal with for the rest of this game. And of course, the number on that rock signified that I died at least once in that level. That's what it means. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. So we enter the forest level that's on the ice world. health kit you can get? Uh, yeah, it's called, it's potions. You can actually grab some potions. And there's no partial heal. All potions you find in game are full heal. But you're only allowed three hearts total anyway, so it doesn't really even matter. Potions seem to be very rare. Yeah, they're in the game somewhere. You'll find them eventually. Oh. No, I didn't go right in that last area because it led to a dead end. So I had to go left to actually advance it. And that's why we're here with looks... I swear it looks like ice cream scoops with clouds on them. Just jiggling back and forth so slow. Eh, oh well. It also be a leaf with a raindrop on it. See, it with that white crap is supposed to be a raindrop on it? Oh. I don't know, man. I guess that could be a safe assumption. You magnify it by a lot. What? When I get a picture of a leaf with a raindrop. That is not, that's not a picture, that's obviously a cloud. Might be a might be a white raindrop, I guess. Makes sense. And that would explain why they're shaking, but uh, whatever. Hey, three times there. Yeah, I died. Yeah, three times. So did you cut out all of your deaths, or just those? I don't know. I cut out a lot of deaths. Um, that I didn't deem 
pertinent. All my fun away except that one. <laughs> yeah, except for that one. Oh, the Tuseku fails. Yeah, of course it happens. Fails. That just happens sometimes. Anyway, that was just a stupid death. I think I just kept that in just because. Careful, Tuseku. What? It looks like the death count can only reach 999. It can reach whatever I want it to reach. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to see 999. That would require either a large amount of competence on my part, or a level that's so, so bad that I'd probably be, be there all day. I know you. You'll quit and then uh, start a new game. <laughs> No way you'll spend eight hours failing. You'd be amazed. You'd be amazed. Like this level's almost over. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell sometimes. Some levels are short, some levels are long. And no, the music this screen does not mean it's the end of the level either, so don't even think about that. I'm a hammer bro, but you didn't even bother hitting those bricks. Yeah, you're right, the hammer bro <coughs> can hit those bricks. He very well can. Uh, but they led nowhere, so I didn't bother. At least I don't think they led anywhere. Congratulations, Tuseku, you performed a miracle. Not really, that's happened at least a couple times before. Um, oddly enough, for being the semi-final world, these levels can be uh, ridiculously easy for the most part. If you know what you're doing, of course. So it's almost idiot-proof. No, no, it's... Again, falls under bad game design. The difficulty should not be lessened as you progress through the game. Now, if we collect a, if we do collect another fire flower, I believe our hammer suit will actually gain ability, gain an ability, or if I equip one, like that guy. Yeah, it'll be like him, sort of, except we'll have a fire shield, which I. Oh, there goes it. Did you get that power up? I uh, uh, don't remember. Oh, well, I guess we're on to the swimming section. Now, I believe this section here is actually sort of like a maze. It actually has another cool fee uh, cool gimmick in here once we actually get to it. We'll probably see it in a little bit. on this level at all. Well, never mind. Mario can't drown. Oh, no he can't. He's not Sonic. But he can die on that thing down there. That blue water can be death, because it's usually close to the insta-kill border of the, uh, of the stage. Luckily, you can super jump out of the way. Luckily, I can super jump while I'm on top of the thing, yeah, but it's kind of hard to swim in that water. I think Think. But if that whale would kill you. Nah, it ain't gonna kill me. That whale spits out the bubbles which turn to ice blocks as soon as you step onto them. Yay. 
So far, this has been a pretty tame, uh, yeah, two no death levels in a row. This, uh, le this world has been pretty tame so far. Just kind of disappointing. And that we'll keep it up. Yeah, right, we're going to try to keep it up. Uh, that ghost house down there can actually be accessed from the purple world. Which you can see, you see the corner of down there in the lower right, lower right portion of the screen. But, the purple world itself has so many ghost places, I felt I didn't want to do that one anymore. Now this place can be a dick. Uh, there's a, it's a door maze, sort of. Where you have to go to the right door to actually exit, otherwise you'll be looping around this area here all the, a lot. level can cause trouble because of that looping because you always gotta avoid all the well the nominal amount of enemies are lying about Ow! Mario have the ability to kill some whatever he jumps on? Not in this game no And there is, I believe I just screwed myself. So you notice I had to come back around the beginning of the area and come right back to the door. Again, I screwed myself here, and you'll see why in a few moments. Because if you notice, there's a switch on the ground, right? Next to the vegetable thing. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to uh, push the vegetable onto that switch that opens this door here. Which will then allow you to, which will then allow you to, da to advance. Now, of course, you can skip that and move past the thing, move up one more level to get on this side of the door we just saw. But then they got another <coughs> door on the other side of that, which is which only deactivated from that switch. But it all leads back to the switch. Well, you have to get the switch to advance. The game, the game actually has put a, put a door there to make sure you hit the switch, which is makes no sense if it's all it's going to do is open the door is open the passage to where you need to go anyway and yes you can't open that chest again but there's nothing in there at least it makes sure that you don't get lost see there's the door they put it they let you come up past the first one just to have the other one sit here right there mocking you uh We got this. I believe we got it this time around. So, we gotta go down, we gotta push the vegetable, and then hope that that door opens. When are you gonna start doing it? <laughs> Another fire remembers. Get one hit point left. I'm presuming I'm gonna die before they ever even get to that. Because it's been too long of a run without something happening in me. Here's the switch. There's the vegetable. Yep. I finally noticed it, so I decided to walk by as well, right? Because I thought I could skip it the whole time, but I couldn't. Diabolical freaking door, that's what it is. Didn't die. <laughs>
I guess not, huh? That's kind of weird. I thought it would have. But you did once. Yeah. Yeah, I did once. But, with that out, now I believe we're on to... The fourth... That's number 60. S number 60? What? Well... You have to even it out, right? Oh, we're already at 60. That one death put us at 60. Oh, it did. Oh, I put you at 59. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's alright. Now, this level is a bitch. Uh, sort of because there's only one way through here. And you need the fire flower to do it. Or fire shield, for that matter. In this game, this level does not give you the power-ups you need to get past it. That's why this prana plant's here. This prana plant here is to make sure you die if you don't enter this place with the abilities you need. Because you gotta go up. You think you'd have to go right when you first come here? But no, right leads to a loop which leads to a dead end. This is the path you're supposed to take. But you wouldn't know that coming in the first, coming into this level first at all. And you'd go right, assuming that's where you're supposed to go, and then get into a fucking continuous loop where you did not get the bloody power you're supposed to to advance. I believe I had to actually walk out of this place, go to the store, buy the fire flower, and come back. Shopping trip. Yeah, it was a shopping trip. So, what do you do here? Oh, we ride this guy. He doesn't get mad. Ah. Uh, all it. Riding on his forehead. Yeah, but he is leading me to, your, to my death. Notice how he's going down lower and lower as it as this progresses. Oh wait, that's a steam effect too. So he's actually melting. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. Didn't notice that before. Now, as as difficult as I made this stage seem, once you take the upper path that I showed you, this level becomes incredibly, incredibly easy. Again, because and I don't get it, I've seen tougher fortresses in earlier stages of this game. But whatever. At least we're almost out of this place. That super jump. <laughs> yeah, it is, right? I like using that super jump wherever I can. Alright, so behind this door here is this is the fortress boss. Uh, he is incredibly lame. In fact, you see what he see what he's doing there? That's all he does. Yes. You don't even have to go down on the same level as him to fight him, because like most enemies in this game, as Mario, you're not allowed to jump on top of enemies. But you have to bring a power up or nothing at that, all. Exactly. So usually he's invincible. I see. But most of them... Oh, I died two times in this place. Most of them are like that, yeah. Where the major first boss had a spot was a giant goomba with a spike on his head. So you couldn't jump on him anyway. There was a flame boss in the second stage. A flying caterpillar thing on the third. And I believe that's in the game. Anyway. Uh... Thanks for watching, and thanks for joining me out of sight. Guess I'll see you later. There.